So I played through the entirety of Little Nightmares 2 and recorded over 5 hours of footage. Instead of making another episodic series like I did for the first game, I decided to just make a huge highlights video with my reactions to the good parts. Because let's be honest, if you wanted to see the full game, you've either already played it or watched another YouTuber play it. Nobody's coming to me for their Little Nightmares 2 fix. So sit back, grab a snack, and enjoy 50 minutes of spooks and my quest to overthrow the government. Again, with the- it's- it's dated April 1st, 2020, I swear, this is just a joke. Why on earth is this- you know what? I skimmed over it last time. Let's read the end user license agreement, huh? I have to consent to getting scared? I guess, I don't know. Class action waivers, and can't sue us for any reason. <laughs> Did they have issues with Little Nightmares 1? <gasps> Donkey Kong shoe! And the big old bag of bodies! It's like walking through my old stomping grounds. <laughs> You're telling me Six can't hear this. How loud is that music box? What's up? Here's Johnny. Wait, before I go on, I gotta go and get the coonskin cap. Give me the coonskin. Yeah! Hey, so something I can't believe I didn't notice <laughs> in the first time playing through. There's, there's like a person hanging here. These are all body bags, I'm pretty sure. I can't even believe I didn't notice that. I don't know why we can't just open the door, because this makes so much of a louder noise, but hey, whatever. Yeah, I've learned from my mistakes. I know how to hide this time. Like, how that, see that bird? I cannot believe that bird isn't immediately flying away. Like, the birds are like, nah, hunter guy's cool. We don't need to fly away with hunter guy in the, in the zone. When Hunter Guy comes by, you know you're in for a good time. Did I seriously die? Come on! Ah, <laughs> oh, finally. Got in here without getting shot. Let's go ahead and move. Oh, what the heck is he doing back there? Worth. <laughs> What is this little thing? Like a fireman's hat? What is it? That is like a fireman's hat. <laughs> now I'm very easily seeable. He's, he's carrying a lot of ammo there. You're gonna try and shoot me again, aren't you? Just because you're gonna hit the TV? Yeah. I've learned your patterns. Oh! Hey there, buddy, breaking into the, whatever this is, barn, yeah, that's the word. You could have just opened the door, but no, he's got to break through the wall. Yeah, I see where you're thinking, Six. <laughs> What's up, man? You uh, see anything suspicious around here? Like maybe two children hiding underneath the deck? No. He's seeing nothing like that. You poor man, just, you just gotta keep reloading after every single time he sees us. It's just not worth it, man. Did you just reload again without shooting? What is this? He's looking away like, oh, where'd they go? <laughs> Must have been the wind. I only heard a child drowning. Come on, flimsy wood. Protect me. Is he not gonna shoot? Evasive prey. Yeah, I got an achievement for that. Oh, give me the gun! Did I get him? <laughs> Consider it payback for all the times you've uh, shot me in the face, Hunter. What was that? What just fell in the background? Fair prey. It's not murder if they're bad people, is it? That's a tremendous achievement. <laughs> Don't touch the water. It's probably like poison for all you know. Because this is little nightmares. You don't, don't trust anything. There's probably like a, a grandma or something hiding in the water there. See, this is the world after 2020. Even though it's 2021 now. This would have been an amazing joke to make a year ago. I can only assume that in this universe there is a mass purge of televisions. They realized that tube TVs were uh, inefficient and moved moved on to LCDs or whatever. 
Very twisty looking city. Is that, was that building moving? Yeah, it's about to fall. Wait, follow up question. Why on earth is there just like a giant city on the other side of the lake? Yeah, there's not a person in those clothes. Probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> is it, is, does the game invisible wall me if I go this way? Oh, there's a, <laughs> there's a giant chasm that keeps me from going. Well, that's one way of doing it. Why is there just clothes? I can only assume everyone just deflated or something. There's a mass purge of people and tube TVs. <laughs> gotta, gotta respond and say hi. Oh, not bad. I'm holding down like all the buttons right now out of pure paranoia, but at least I made it. That. Alright, so... It sounds like a lawnmower, but it's definitely not a lawnmower. It's in fact a television, which is... <laughs> I have no idea. What do I even do? Let's do the thing and just hope I don't die because of it. Yeah. Touch the TV. Use L to tune the transmission. Oh, yeah, I definitely used L to tune the transmission. Has to be in the middle. And now I'm in that hallway. Okay. That's cool. That was really cool. That's probably why this room is all full of TV static. Uh... Did Six follow me? Televisions or portals in this universe. Got it. Makes sense. Is this the school from the trailer? Haha, <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. No time for fun, Six. We have to overthrow the government. <laughs> Let's get moving, we don't have time. Revolution waits for no man. Well, there's power here and a burning trash can. Got some friendly faces here on the wall. Real friendly, look at that guy's schnauz. Is that a child or a bear? They're really easy to mix up nowadays. Whatcha uh, doing with the can? Nice job, Six. You, re you helped. <laughs> yeah, this is about right. This is about what detention looks like normally. You know, I don't remember my elementary school having this many, like, nooks and crannies. This many, to be clear. It still had nooks and crannies that I explored, but... Uh, it didn't have this many. And I couldn't fit to the vents. Believe me, I tried. Is that breathing, or is... Oh, yeah! That looks spooky, alright. Well, that would have killed me if I wasn't, like, bad at standing where I should be. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they caught wind of me not standing in the right place this time and put one in two spots. What's in here? Apparently not. <laughs> What's with all these kids? They've, like, home alone to this place. Oh, those aren't, those aren't children who are willing to comprehend, uh the goals required in uh, overthrowing the government. Those are just possessed dolls. Unless I could over, I could repossess the dolls, right? I learn, I learn sorcery and whatnot, and then use them to conquer the government. See? Now that's my plan. Okay, yeah, a dead end. Gotta go see what the other guy's doing. I know a hammer when I see one. I'm gonna break the child. Got him. He won't hear this. <laughs> I've heard the phrase killing two children with one bucket. No? You haven't heard that phrase? You know, I'm just thinking, I think I was supposed to be like super scared and afraid when Six got taken away, but I was too focused on trying to use puppets for conquering the government. Oh, is that the teacher? What's in here? It's the mudroom or something. See, she's too focused on making the dolls learn their mathematics to notice that there's an entire living, breathing child who will overthrow the government sneaking through her class. Grab the key, and we roll. <laughs> I should be scared, but this is just funny. Really? <laughs>
Ever seen that show Adventure Time with Jake the dog? Yeah. What's up, stretchy lady? How you doing? <laughs> it's just so absurd. Yeah, you yeah, you tell that doll how they're doing their math wrong. <laughs> when the teacher is trying to help you and she's just breathing down your neck. Yep. You, you, you taught that kid, right? Pretty sure that kid's sleeping. And you didn't even... Really? <laughs> Alright, later. <laughs> so I can outrun her. But I can't outstretch her. See, <laughs> that's where I messed up. You focused? Yeah, you measure that kid's hairline. <laughs> kid's on like a chain, I think. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have ran. It's ever like, you ever see those like hyperactive children that have child leashes? That's probably what this doll is. <laughs> Come get me. Come on. That ought to, do, ought to teach you a lesson. Did anybody have to do that? Like, when I was in elementary school, if I ever forgot my name on a paper because they really pushed for that, I have to, like, write my name, like, a hundred times or something. Anybody else have to do that, or is that just a cruel and unusual punishment? By the way, it never worked. <laughs> I... Oh, no, is Stretchy Lady gonna come stretch her weird neck up here and look at me? Yeah, here she comes. Good thing there's really convenient cubby holes for me to hide in. She's just thinking, hmm, must have been the wind as I descend into the deep. Yeah, she can't hear this, by the way. She's clinically deaf. All that stuff when she heard me walking around before, that was just a fluke. She's just guessing. Again, just guessing. She's actually still just deaf. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I think I am supposed to hide in here. Yeah, she can't see me. Don't look to your left. <laughs> Alright, so stretchy lady just walked in here. I'm confident that she's not still here. That would just be absurd. Look, a painting of the stretchy lady's adoring children. Little angels, as I'm sure she would call them. Oh, it's a puzzle. Um, I can handle a puzzle. So this is the um the 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 building piece, which I think this is goes right here. I'm trying really hard to do this puzzle and make it not extremely apparent that I have no idea how chess works. <laughs> come on, come on, put put it in. Don't be don't be shy. Heard a click. I hear a click, and it means nothing to me. What the heck's happening? I hear clicking, and then, like, nothing happens. I had to look it up, because it was so unobvious what I was supposed to do. Look at this. I'm supposed to jump up here and grab onto the light. I knew it had something to do with the bookshelf. It just... What? That was not clear. You hear that mess hall? Sounds like my... Really, game? <laughs> Sounds like my elementary. Then once I got in high school, nobody talked to each other, so it was just pure silence. Oh, it looks like some porcelain doll got detention. I do not feel bad. Oh. Oh. Hello, child doll. I am one of you. I'm just going to walk through here. It's fine. Yep, yeah, that's this looks like a pretty average elementary cafeteria to me. I don't see what the big 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 special is. Excuse me, children, have have you ever considered overthrowing the government? I I feel like these guys could throw overthrow a government. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like some of these are just walking around with broken heads. That dude's hanging from a light fixture. I don't even know how he got up there. Honestly, I can't believe how realistic this game was able to portray in elementary school. Real good job. Just like mine. <laughs> Is that a brain? It's totally a brain. It's even wiggling. Look, it's toad soup. It's... I swear I read a book about this once. This is just my average elementary school experience. There's nothing out of the ordinary here. She's 
looks over like menacingly. Where are you going with that knife? Off to go stab children? Probably. No, no stretchy yet. Come over here. You're gonna have to walk around. I got this under control. I know that she just gives up. <laughs> you know what? We're gonna fight our way back to six. Let's go. I, don't, I think I lost my hammer. With the hammer. I... Uh, why? I don't understand why sometimes I just completely mess up the shot. And then it just... What's up? You want some sugar? <laughs> and then I proceeded to die. Oh... Seriously? This is... And I am not happy. What the heck is happening here? <laughs> oh wait, that's six. Six, you didn't like die, right? Nah, you don't die yet. That's for later in the game, probably. Look, there's nice music. Come on, six, let's break you out of prison. Handhold? Handhold. All right, is there an achievement? for standing on the piano. <laughs> Monotones. <laughs> I got an achievement for that. Worth. We're gonna crash this piano through the floor. The party has arrived. Come on, six. <laughs> nice. Easy stuff. I just gotta sneak around and not get immediately caught. Which I know is something I would probably end up doing. Why is that moving back up? Oh, hello. What are you doing here? You don't even fit. <laughs> Please keep going, this is hilarious. Yeah, here she comes. <laughs> How long is... <laughs> How far can she go? What the heck? Well, it's raining, and we're living in a dumpster. Not exactly the relationship I wanted to see in my future, but hey, home is home. Do you need a raincoat, Six? I feel like you need a raincoat in this weather. This is, this, this, like, this game has a weird vibe to it with all, like, the curvy buildings and stuff. So I took a quick break to go eat some, like, food and stuff, and I totally did not look up a quick walkthrough to realize that I could push the dumpster in the third dimension. I really have a hard time thinking in more than two directions. Ah, oh, perfect! That's a, that's a banana peel. And definitely not a uh, raincoat. Oh, the theme song. Look at her, she's gaining her ultimate power. Oh, I get the feeling this is a hospital. Hospitals in horror games always have this ability to instantly be ten times scarier than any other location in a horror game. I do not know what it is, but I'm, I, I dub this phenomenon the Horror Hospital Rule, the HHR. Do you think there's anybody in here who wants to overthrow the government? I mean, they're in a hospital, so I'm sure the answer is probably. We're hanging on for dear life. If, if I let go, you're going to die, and I just don't care. I'm too interested in overthrowing the government. This keeps happening. use flashlight. I played the first game, take it easy. See, they've just, sorry Six, they figured out how to make the hospital even spookier, put it in the dark, add some fog, and then give you a flashlight. I'm sure this won't end poorly at all. Oh, here we go again. Again with the television. It's not that bad though. Alright TV, take us somewhere fun. Still using the L button to, or the L joystick to uh, tune the TV. It's just I don't really know what I'm doing. Back in the hallway, I guess. Is it? Is it? Is it? It's not gonna let me get close, is it? 
Why is Six always with me? You don't follow me into the TV. Wait, there's a key in the teddy bear. Uh, the teddy bear's foot was moving. I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure the teddy bear's foot is moving. Why did you grab a toy? You want to see what it looks like in front of the x-ray six? All right, come on. There is not a key in this. Yeah, this one's got the key. <laughs> six, I don't know why you're carrying around that toy. <laughs> such beauty and such grace. Wonder if it's at all possible to kill Six. Is she even walking here? Or is Six gonna try and kill me? You know what, that's probably why she's holding a toy now that I think about it. So she doesn't try to climb into the uh, thing after me. So I can't sneakily, sneakily try and kill her. And then she's holding the toy so she doesn't try and kill me because that would require her putting down the toy in the first place. Then once I get over here, she'll probably put it down. I called it. I read this game like a book. I know exactly what's going on here. Oh, it's the body part zone. <laughs> I wonder why this headless corpse is tied down. I wonder why. It's the thing from Adam's family. <laughs> it's why... It Get down for you. How can you even have? How can you even see me? You don't even have eyes. <laughs> it's trying to climb after me. I think it followed me because this hand has like hyper intelligence and it knows how to traverse the ventilation system. How did you even manage that? All right. Come here. Come here! You're gonna get, like, get all the bones broken. You know what, actually... <laughs> I got an achievement for that! I got an achievement for beating a dead hand! This game is great! <laughs> I, I feel like I'm laughing too much at this game. Where did six go? You just bored pulling the fingers off of that thing? Hello? I mean, I've done, I've like, I've broken Barbies before, what can I say? So I'm pretty confident all these other bodies are just slumped over. Probably just gonna start moving at any moment. I mean, if a hand can move with absolutely zero energy, energy given to it, then uh, I'm pretty sure anything could move. You wanna not just be creepily standing there, mannequin? Oh no. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a... Oh, it's a weeping angel situation. Why aren't you moving? I can't get through. If you wanna be a weeping angel, then, you know, be a weeping angel. Um... Like, nothing's happening. Look at you taking your f first steps, finally. Man, that game, game really broke there. Oh, I gotta go that way. <laughs> I, I didn't really want to go down to the hallway full of mannequins, but you know what? Sometimes stuff just happens. Any one of you could just turn and go full sprint at me. You there! Hey, I'm not having a good time about having two of these things following me. I'd really have it, rather have none. <laughs> Thanks, see you later, bye. Aha! And you? Oh, you want, you want to join the party too, huh? No, thank you. Hey, you can stop hobbling around, you too. Whenever you feel like it, buddy. Just stop. Please tell me a hand just like sticks out one of these things. <laughs> oh, I know this game too well. I got the, 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 the flashlight pointed over there. They just keep moving. Here they come. Alright, it's fine though. 
They can't fit through vents. That's a, that's a, that's a child's job to fit through vents. This is not the way I'm supposed to go, I don't think. Secret! Come here, TV static guy. I don't know if I want to know what's going on in here. Oh, you know what? I could probably drag this bucket all the way over if I wanted to. So it turns out what I was supposed to do was turn off the light and the mannequin in the chair would start running at me and I would turn it back on and I could move the chair over to the window and climb out. But my method works just fine. No. <laughs> that worked. There was no way that was intended. I refuse to believe that was intended. I heard something move. You want to run that past me again? Oh, there's two of them. All right. Oh, yeah, I think there's a bit more than two. Maybe I should have just started running. Searchlight formation. Alright, now run. Well, whatever works. Finally, six is helpful for once. <laughs> Good, it magically starts working when six is on. Crying, yeah, I doubt that's friendly crying. It's more like in pain, I'm going to snap a child's neck kind of crying. Great. A thing from Adam's family. Come here, you. All right. Uh huh. Yeah, you look, what, how is that, like, efficient? I want to be the doctor, but I hang from the ceiling. It'll be extra spooky. Oh, can I run? I mean, I can run, but I just teleport into his hand. Why does he breathe so hard? He's, this man's excited. You are not holding on to that bed, my friend. He just didn't see six. <laughs> Why is he just like lightly touching the beds? I don't understand what is happening. You know, now that I think about it, maybe Ceiling Doctor has something going. Cause like it could have so many beds, and if he, even if he can't like walk around between them, just climb on the ceiling. He does know what he's doing. I was wrong. Ceiling Doctor is a true professional. Oh, he at least washes his hands. He's a good. He's a good doctor. He washes his hands. I mean, it sounds like a TV, so I bet it's like some kind of mind control program. If I turn it off, it's going to be funny. Hey, <laughs> very, very audible, uh-oh. Did you just kick that for no good reason, Six? Oh, I thought I was Six for a second. Oh no, it's the old... <laughs> oh, that just... <laughs> Straight to black. Did I get caught? No fair, I couldn't even see! I don't know why I keep getting caught there. My problem was that I dashed, or slid. Look, I'm supposed to be absolutely terrified right now, but it's just not happening, man. I just keep dying, and it's more frustrating than, like, scary. <laughs> oh well. Can he not go downstairs? Is that just not an option? Yeah. <laughs> you gonna crush me there, buddy? Ceiling doctor, you're out of your element. That's the floor. I think I see what's happening here. Question for you, buddy. You think it's a good idea to be in a cremation chamber? Hit him with a whoosh. <laughs> Six, you savage. <laughs> that, okay, I should, I should be like, oh, that's horrifying. The dude burns alive, but Six is just warming your hands over the fire, and I think... <laughs> Kid can't not laugh at that. Well, one step closer to overthrowing the government. Anyway, let's get out of this hospital. 
before it burns down. That was probably a body. Two. One more? No. Three, there he is. Is that a TV out here? <laughs> oh, there he goes. Uh, something happened that he was really interested in. Pretty sure that guy did have a face. <laughs> he just he just face plant into a TV. Like I've heard of really getting into your shows, but you know, that just seems like overkill. Oh, I recognize that sound. Everyone, <laughs> look. If you want to mass control like a population, well, the television's the way to do it. It's classy if you're rich to have a TV in your bathroom. Not so much if you're poor. <laughs> there it is. The evil TV tower. That's the government we're overthrowing, Six. We need we need more people to our cause. We need to have a revolution. Why is there so many filing cabinets? Just an easy asset to reuse over and over, I suppose. Should I move? We might need to keep running there, Six. I think this place is still gonna fall down around our ears. Oh no, Six! I think I died. Yo, Six is freaking dead. First game just doesn't happen, because I'm pretty sure this is a prequel. <laughs> Your bonding moment's cute and all, but moving. It's just everyone's favorite pastime to just draw eyeballs underneath their beds. Look, I don't choose the spooky, weird ticks that things that people get in this universe. It's just weird that it's always uh, drawing eyes. But time to watch some TV. Is it? Is it gonna boot me out? Uh, it will as soon as this door opens. Oh, maybe it won't. It's purple. <gasps> Hat guy. Oh no, <laughs> Hat guy approaches. Six is like, uh, we should move. I don't like the Hat guy. Hey, I don't like the hat guy either. Why, hat guy? Uh, hey, how about you go back in that TV where you came from, Mr. Hat Guy? Who am I even kidding? It's Slenderman. <laughs> Look at him go. Six, I don't like your choice of hiding spot. Six. Stop getting kidnapped, Six. Gosh. Oh, it's Ghost Six. We're going back in. Oh, let's go. What the heck? I'm somewhere else. I don't think I'm in TV land. Six keeps getting kidnapped, first by porcelain dolls, now by Slenderman. This is just getting weirder by weirder. Alright. I have unlocked the t teleporting power. Oh, hey, yeah, a deflated guy. <laughs> I, I have the power! <laughs> Now I control the TVs. I hate this channel. <laughs> I... Oh, <laughs> are you kidding me? 
<laughs> she just sucks my soul. <laughs> How dare you turn off my shows? Look, lady, you can have your your uh, sitcoms. You know, I don't need them. If if tube TVs never went out of style and the the evil governments just decided to use them to control us, you know. All those electrons, you know, it's just radiation. It's just got that lead covering to keep you from going absolutely insane. Oh, <laughs> goodbye. They're all really interested in the glowy light. There must be a TV up there. Why <laughs> do they just keep falling? Aw, oh, man, the TV blew out. I need TVs in order to teleport. I guess I'll grab a stool and open the door. Go outside, touch some grass, you know. <laughs> Stop watching TV. You know, it'd be funny if I just turned off that TV. There's a critical flaw with this plan. Is it the shopping? What just happened? <laughs> Physics just got quite literally thrown out the window. Gotta make sure they aren't here to uh, suck my soul, you know? No. Oh, maybe I should run. They can operate doorknobs. Why is there two of them doing the exact same animation? Six! Oh, come on, hand guy. <laughs> the scream. Should I be running? I'm not sure. I should be running. Oh, I need an axe. Because now, hat guy's after me. Oh no, he could use doorknobs. I had not anticipated this. Look at him wearing a fedora. Oh, just because he wasn't <laughs> Note to self, just because he can't see his face doesn't mean he can't still see you. And the game's in slow motion for extra spook factor. Can't catch me, TV man. I have the television controller tap. Tap, tap, tap. He doesn't care, he'll just teleport through a wall. I'm telling you, he's Slenderman. Later, TV guy. Good luck finding another TV. Oh, that probably didn't feel too good. It's Ghost Six playing on the tracks. Like, what are you doing? There was a Ghost Six in the first game. I don't know if I ever pointed it out, but there was definitely a Ghost Six that was never explained. This this is definitely a prequel. TV guy just gonna be out here. It is time to conquer the government. Hey there, buddy. Did I take off my hat because I'm your son or something? Or am I just like, like, look at me, father. Oh, we do both have the power. But his is stronger. At least I think that's what was happening. Oh, I was supposed to do buttons there. Let's go, bro. Oh, the buildings are shaken from that. Come on, man, fight me. What you got? I got the magic hand power. It is like tuning the TV. Haha. <laughs> Let's do this. Fight me, Slenderman. I am the TV child. What have you got? A fedora? Your fedora is no match for my coon skin cap. You wanna go one more time?
No, oh, he just up and disintegrated. Cool. What the heck? <laughs> Am I just about to... Alright, is this how I take down the government? Hand powers? What even? Now we're going into the purple! Ah, oh, here we go. We're taking down the government tonight. Now this place is... This is where Little Nightmare shines. Oh, portals. Now we're thinking with portals. There is a music box, which is usually Six's thing. Am I supposed to go into the room with the music box? I think that's the case. The glowy light with the music box is where I'm supposed to be going. This is awesome. <laughs> this looks so cool. So you just gotta listen. It's really easy when you have headphones, but I'm sure if I was just listening to the speakers on the TV and just whenever it got loud. I can hear the humming. The iconic humming. Something's in here. What? Oh, it's a six monster. Come on. Just say hi to me. You remember me. Did she just kill me? <laughs> By complete accident. Let's not get in her way this time. Everything just floats away. Oh, do I have to break her music box? Oh, something happened. Not what I expected from one hit to the music box. Oh. Maybe I should move. Six, you told me you would fight the government with me. Why are you doing this, Six? Gotta pull in It's Johnny again. Oh. <laughs> I just got slapped. <laughs> oh, it echoes. That is, that is cool. Let's do this. The final six battle. Alright. Back here in the zone. That was a that was a TV refresh thing. I recognize that. I didn't do searchlights for a year to not recognize what a TV, uh, vertical sink, vertical sink. I think. Place is falling apart. How do I go up? I gotta get this axe up somehow. Did I just die? Oh, cool. Oh, hit it. Nice. I like the haze. <laughs> oh, here again. Kind of. Where's, the, where's an axe? Oh, I see one. <laughs> I did even... <laughs> I just bonked into her and died. Oh, I don't think I should have done that. Oh, I guess I could still go over here. Another hit. Is it over yet? Come on. Why is the wall moving? Oh man. 
What's... Come on. <laughs> Break it or something. Is she getting smaller? Oh, I have to grab the axe and hit it one more time. It's... <gasps> She's back! Six. Oh, that's an eye. Later. What oh, was six like the only thing holding this place together? Yeah, this is a little weird, not gonna lie. Did, um. I'm not really sure what's going on. Alright. I don't know how I survived that. Come on, Mono. Move. Oh. Yeah. Come on, six. Is this is this where you have like second doubts and you're like long live the king? Apparently. <laughs> no. Six, I'm the TV kid. How on earth? I guess you can just use TVs too. That's fine. The anthem of betrayal. Am I still alive? Apparently. Just on an ocean of flesh. Here's your... Hey! I can still say hey without anything happening. Yeah, this is... Not my intended idea of a walking surface. Well, if they wanted to make something creepy, they certainly succeeded. What is this? Is this a radio? No, it's just a chair. Alright, what? Do I just die? Do I become like the ruler of the flesh? I could be the ruler of the flesh. Am I just sad now? In my very sad chair? In my purple zone of sad chair? Is that the end? Is this the, the fade to black roll credits? No. I just sit there and grow up, apparently. What, I just sit in the chair, grow old, and die? Is that the ending? Well, it's apparently the ending. Do I put on a fedora and start teleporting? Is that, is that the twist? So, there's gotta be like a little bit more shock factor. I do put on a fedora! <laughs> Do I get to control you? I want to teleport. You know, the name Mono is starting to click, because I know there's like a TV. Like It's like the Mono audio. I can hear the humming of a TV. That was awesome. <laughs> oh man, that was so cool. I, I, I got destroyed with midterms like last week, and that's when the game came out, so I just finally got a chance this week to uh, go through little nightmares. And, oh man. That was... Phenomenal. <laughs> I mean, I don't get the ending. I didn't really get the ending of the first game either. Like, was that six? I mean, could, was this even a prequel? If you wanted to go out and answer questions, 
like the questions from Little Nightmares 1 were, how'd Six get on the ship? Why is the ship? And where'd she go after the ship? None of which really answered a thing, anything. So this must have been a prequel. It had to have been a prequel. Because Ghost Six was there. And Ghost Six was in Little Nightmares 1. But man, that was... that was good. <laughs> oh, I just realized I'm gonna have to go through and edit this.